Here at Finals Springs Casino in the city of Indio, California, catching up with undefeated super bantamweight weight, Pablito Rubio, 9 0 with three KOs. Pablito, first of all, how did you uh, see the fights, tonight's fights? Oscar Negrete just won his first regional title, the NABF uh, Bantamweight title. How's everything going? Uh, he did excellent, you know. Um, I gave him a lot of props. It was a tough fight. And, uh, you know, he took shots, but he, he gave Manny back. And he, he did real good. He ended up dropping him uh, early. and uh, But the, the his opponent was a tough fighter. He kept going. But uh, by the ninth or eighth round, uh, he you know he couldn't go on anymore. But I give credit to both fighters; they put up a fight, and it, it was amazing. It was a great fight. Have the two of you ever fought on the same card, uh, Oscar Negrete and yourself? Uh, that you right? Yeah, you can't recall. I can't recall. I don't think I have yet. Okay. Let's talk about your upcoming fight. You're fighting on July 29th. Your tenth professional fight. First time fighting at the Belasco Theater. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's cool, you know, uh, finally out of Velasco after nine complete fights and uh, finally taking it somewhere further out of state and uh, it's going to be great though, it's going to be uh, something new and it, it should be a great fight, you know, my, my opponent is David Perez and he's going to be a tough opponent, he's 8-1, about four knockouts and I should have a good crowd there though, you know, um, I have family, I got friends over there and if anybody that doesn't know, we have the Shark Sports Fitness and Training. Which uh, it's the hat that you're wearing. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and talk a little <laughs> bit about the, your Arizona uh, uh, Tucson, Arizona. Branch. Yes. Yep. We, we have good guys over there take, ca taking care of it and uh, it's, a, it's a very nice gym and uh, if you haven't gone there, you know, try it out. And So you'll be leaving from Cali a little earlier this time and you're going to be spending some time at the a shark sports uh, gym in Arizona, is that right? Uh, we're thinking about it. We're thinking about leaving sooner, uh, getting used to the weather over there. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Golden Boy Promotions has a new uh, deal with ESPN. Do you think there'll be a chance of you uh, showcasing your skills on national TV if there's some, some little bit of... Uh, you know, spare time for you to showcase your skills on, on ESPN. You know, I, I, I hope uh, ESPN will be something good for me and uh, just more exposure for myself and uh, for me to get out there. You know, uh, we did good with Estrella TV and hope to do better with ESPN. So we'll see how it goes. In your last fight on April 14th on the undercard of Charles Huerta versus Ivan Delgado, which uh, Huerta won by KO, you're spending some time at his gym, at Maywood Boxing Gym, so you're doing some sparring with Huerta and Nero Rodriguez. Uh, talk to the fight fans what those uh, sparring sessions are like. Uh, tough sparring sessions. Uh, they're bigger guys. Not that much more weight, but they're they're tougher. They're both good. Uh, you got Neno Rodriguez and uh, Charles Huerta, who just came out with a, a good knockout victory against Ivan Degado. And uh, it was a great fight. And you know they're both they're they're both tough. We've been going six rounds. Uh, if not, we're gonna try to go for more. You know, but uh, we're all going hard. We're all going hard. We're all doing our best. We're all just trying to be ready for the next one. So you're building, even though you're not officially a Golden Boy Promotions fighter, you've been pretty much had your career with Golden Boy Promotions. So how does it feel fighting? on all these Golden Boy Promotions cards. Oh, it feels awesome. I feel at home. I feel comfortable. Uh, it's a blessing working with them. Uh, you know, just everybody that's part of Golden Boy, they all help me. And uh, it's it's a blessing, you know. Not, not a lot of people get that where they're able to fight even if not sign. Uh, so, you know, it's a, it's a blessing from all of them. Everybody from Golden Boy, thank you. And, uh, Hopefully we get something going in the future. Your friend and teammate, um, John Leon, he was here in attendance to witness his uh, good friend, uh, Oscar Negrete's fight. So he's back from Colombia after having taken a little break. The dad was telling me that he has something uh, big working for him in the near future. How is he doing? And uh, when do you think we're going to be seeing him back in action? Uh, hopefully in the same undercard as me. If not, uh, in August. But very soon, very very soon, he's a hard, he's a hard fighter. You know, he he trains very hard, and he's tough. You know, he he puts all his heart into it. He's trying to get something better than you know than Colombia. You know how 
we talk about tough. Colombia and it's tough out there, man. Right? You know, he's trying to make a better living for him and his family. And uh, you know, he's a he's a great fighter. He's a great person. And you know, I wish him all the best. He's been doing real good. But uh, when you see him, he'll be ready. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Pablito, the shark Rubio. If you don't see him working with his dad, uh, setting up the ring. He's yeah. back in action on July 29th, his first fight out of California in Tucson, Arizona, probably on ESPN3 or let's hope you get some uh, TV uh, time. Thank you, Pablito. Thank you.